Is it important to you to have the right to own firearms? Absolutely, because the firearms are the basis of freedom in the United States. Uh, it's firearms are what got our freedom. Firearms are what maintains our freedom. Uh, those who uh, are deprived of their use generally fall under the control of the government. In the United States, there's one thing that we know, and that is the government can't protect you. And if it gets in a tough spot, it won't protect you. So the only thing you can do is protect yourself. Do you need a lot of weapons to protect yourself, or is one enough? Well, no, one is not enough, because there are many types of situations you might be in. Uh, I have a handgun right now with me. That's good up to about 25 yards. That's a shotgun. That's good up to about 50 yards, and a rifle is good up to about 100 yards or beyond. So you don't think there should be a, a limit as to how many guns someone No. Can own? The Second Amendment of the United States says that the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. That's an infringement. I'm very grateful we have it. I'm very grateful the Founding Fathers put it in, and we intend to enforce it. Are you scared for your rights to own arms in the future? We always have to watch out for that. But you got to remember, we own arms to resist any type of takeover, and we will do that. Uh, you know, uh, in World War II, uh, Yamamoto said, never invade the United States. There's a gun behind every blade of grass, and there is. So, <laughs> and, we're, and we intend to keep it that way. And do you know anybody, any gun owner, who himself committed a crime? Uh, actually, no, I don't. Uh, there was a study done in the city of Chicago, and we have a thing called the Firearm Owner's Identification Card. And uh, there was testimony in Springfield, which is the state capital, and uh, they asked a Chicago detective that, in under oath, how many legitimate firearm owners that he had ever come in contact in his 20-some years as a detective that had committed a crime, and his answer was none. Do you feel personally safer with a gun? Absolutely. I've been attacked three times in my life. Three times in my life I've had a firearm, and the only thing that happened was the criminal ran away. And you think you wouldn't have if you had a gun? Exactly. <laughs> Once there were four of them. There's no other way to, to handle a gang of four people than to have a firearm. Uh, you know, even the best karate expert can't do that one. In self-defense, should a, a, a gun-carrying person be allowed to shoot at someone? If, well, only, only if his life is threatened. In, in your case, that wasn't the, it wasn't the case? Well, it, it was going to be the case. Uh, one of them was a, a jewelry store. A gay guy came in and uh, I operated a jewelry store in a, near an, a university. A guy came in, locked the door behind him, turned around with a pipe in his hand and said, uh, what would you do? If, well, why he said this, I never know. What would you do if I tried to rob you? I drew my 45 automatic and said, I'll shoot you with this. He said, that's all I need to know, and he left. So see, and I lost a customer. <laughs>